I have Sandra with me in the studio today. She answered one of my Craigslist ads uh, some time ago, and we've finally been able to hook up. I have been courting her for some time because <laughs> um, I can tell she has modeling experience and she knows what she's doing in front of the camera. So I'm super excited to have her in today. Um, she actually has a blog. Um, what is your blog called again? Freebirdfashion.blogspot.com. So I will, um, I'll post that on my everything, on my Facebook page, on the website, on YouTube, because um, you guys should really go take a look because it's pretty darn cool, the pictures that she has up there. And um, today, what are we going to be doing today in the studio? Um, you said you are, you're trying to build your portfolio, right? Yeah, I have no studio lighting and I saw your pictures and you're the one I wanted to work with, with studio lighting and indoor lighting. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited to add that, not only to my portfolio, but on the website as well. Mm -hmm. um, awesome. Yeah, actually on your website I did notice there's a lot of um, outside, you know, in the environment um, material, which is always really cool to work with natural lighting, but definitely working with studio lighting is different. So, Absolutely. So we will um, get you some experience there. And let's see, something that I noticed that um, I'm sure everyone else will notice is that um, Sandra is gorgeous and she like has all of the attributes of a model. And I was thinking to myself, why is she here in my studio? Why isn't she out somewhere? And she told me a story about America's Next Top Model. If any of you people have um, watched that show, I actually like to watch it to get ideas because they actually give you really good um, advice for modeling and, and even a little bit for photography. So that's a little tip out there for you models to um, check out the show because it's actually kind of informative, as trashy as it is. <laughs> but um, tell me your story about America's Next Top Model. Well, I went out in Phoenix and I tried out and I made it past all the rounds and then I got a phone call. Unfortunately, I was born in Vienna, Austria, which fortunate but unfortunate for the show, you have to be an American citizen in order to qualify. So I wasn't allowed to qualify even though I met all the expectations and I wowed the judges. So they told me next time if I get citizenship, I can go and I can be on the show. So that's pretty awesome if you ask me. Um, whether or not you do it, it's pretty darn cool. So definitely. Um, I am hoping that we can make some magic today in the studio and we will check back in with you guys when we're all done. Hey, we're all done with our photo shoot this evening, though I'm sure there will be other photo shoots in the future with, uh, with Sandra because we had kind of an awesome time, I think. Definitely. <laughs> um, so tell me, what, what did you like about tonight's photo shoot or if there was anything you didn't like, let me know. I mean, I had such a great time, not only with you, but working with everything. I think I learned a lot about lighting, how to use each light, good angles, and how to put my body towards a light, and a lot. Another thing I had a problem was with putting my hand somewhere, which mm -hmm. was really helpful, made sure I didn't have like claws going everywhere, so that was fun, and I feel like we had a great energy between us, which mm -hmm. definitely hyped up the energy. That definitely helps. Um, so tonight we did, I think, three kind of different scenes. We, um, we were up uh, with the orange couch for a while and we spent some time um, in the studio just getting some nice headshots, which everybody always needs headshots. Uh, so I will get the edited photos up um, as soon as I possibly can. They um, are great pictures, so I'm kind of excited to work on them. So they'll probably be up sooner rather than later. And like I said, I'm sure we'll see more of Sandra in the future. And definitely go to her blog, um, which was mm, freebirdfashion.blogspot.com. <laughs> so definitely go there and check it out. And as always, if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know.